Hello everyone and welcome back. Uh, to be honest, I kind of forgot that I had this channel. So I got this. It kind of fits. Little Sobble Gala collection. It's so cute. I love Sobble. It's a sobbing bubble. How can you not like a sobbing bubble? Should not have evolved my Sobble. Oh well. No time to regret. I'm just going to open this. Also, I've got um a little something else. Not Pokemon cards, but they are cards of sorts, like collecting cards. I found them while I was just, you know, wandering around, as you do, and I thought they're quite neat, so to quote my season, I think they're quite neat. Um, and I just bought a few and I opened them, I know, how could I? How could I open them off screen? I actually didn't know what they were like, so I opened a few of them. I'll show you later, but I thought they were quite cool, and I bought a few more. So yeah opening those as well. And as always, my promo cards, because collecting promo cards is now a thing. I've got like, remember this book? I've got like quite a few promo cards. So, that's gonna be a thing. Collecting promo cards. There goes all my money. And if you want, there's a crooked uh, good card which I haven't seen in a long time because I haven't been opening anything. So there's pieces of plastic, as always. There you go, if you did not get a clear view of it. Look at my collection, Sobble! And here is a Grookey. Which one's this one? Score Bunny. And... If I can just get this one out. My little sobble. My sobbing bubble. I named my sobble Cobra. And the reason for that is if anyone's watched Lilo and Stitch, um, the dude, you know, the really big, like, um, bodyguard kind of guy, he was like, my name's Cobra Bubbles. So yeah, I called him Cobra. Because I just thought of that. Cute little subble pin. If you just there's my cute little subble. It's a little pin. I probably never pin it on anything out of fear that someone's gonna snap it off my bag or whatever I've got it on. I mean, if I get it on my shirt, then you know that probably won't happen. So here is my giant Zamazenta card. Obviously, never gonna use it to play, but hmm. salt tackle. And that was my phone. It's nothing important. Alright, this one can go with the giant Pikachu. Which I've got in like a little plastic bag kind of thing. There we go. They are safe in between books. And we have two Cosmic Eclipse. Evolutions. And unbroken bonds. And more plastic. Alright, then I'll just get right onto it, as always. My little sandwich. Let's do it. Where'd my cards go? My, my cut sleeves on me. There we go. Cut sleeves. So cut sleeves are oh, very important. I wonder if I remember it from like a month ago, what the cartridge saw. Cosmic Eclipse is probably just always for the front. Oh, another nice one it says. There's the code card. Superstition says no. Two, three, four. And an energy card. Which one is this one? Mind, Psychic. Vaporeon. How cute. There's um, this uh, artist on Tumblr who um, called a Vaporeon a soggy croissant and I thought this was really cute and I just saw this one and the pose is pretty much exactly the same and I just thought of soggy croissant. Absol. Lileap. Scrope. Oops, scrope. Pikachu. Is it just me or does Pikachu's tail seem abnormally larger than its body. I mean, sure there's like the distance between it, but I don't think Pikachu's tail is that long either. 
Stuffle, Ponyard, Litleo. Oh, that's very nice. This is a secret rare Gallade. And the last card is a Crab Bomb Nib. Damn it. Crab Bomb Nib. Um, I can't anymore. But this one is nice. Nice, peaceful looking art. Sitting on a hill, just chilling. I don't actually know who that other guy is. Just saying. Unbroken Bonds! Wait, is that guy Wallace? Or something? I can't remember. I never remember people. Then again, I'm having trouble remembering Pokemon as well. Especially now that I've like nicknamed all my Pokemon in Sword and Shield. Like, I just thought, you know, nicknaming Pokemon is nice. It's, you know, giving your Pokemon characteristics rather than naming them after their species. Like having a dog and calling it Dog. Having like three dogs and calling all of them Dog. So yeah, I nicknamed them. Now I don't know what their actual species name is, like my sub evolved, evolved into something, what was it, like Drizzle? Drizzile? Something like that, like a missile or something. And then it was like Intellion? I don't remember. All I know is my soul's name is Cobra. Anyway, there's your code card before I get too confused on what my species are called. Uh, four to the front, because this is Unbroken Bonds. Evolutions, I think, doesn't have an energy card. Fighting. And a fighting hit on top. Uh, Gliscor. Oh, damn, broke the chain. A Frogadi. Growlithe. Cubone. Rylou. A Porygon. And Inkei. Reverse Hollow uh, Crocorock. Just casually chilling there. Very swig. And a Hollow Greenwich. And I think that's a Charizard in the background. Looks nice. A Greninja. Evolutions. And uh, on another note, I'm also still working on my, what's it called, little display picture kind of thing, the icon, there's a code card. And as someone who doesn't draw, like, at all, has no artistic knowledge, at all, it's a little challenging. But I want to make it something that's like my own, so... I've just been kind of pushing through, hoping that one day, probably next month, hopefully next month, I'll be able to put that out and actually use it. Oh, there, let's go. Porygon. Did I mess up the order again? Trainer, full heal. Poliwhirl. And a Poliwag. Hmm. Yeah, that's cute. Give me a Poliwrath. I'm just going to tuck that. If it just tuck that there. Evolution. Seal! Give me Dugong. Oh, it's Magikarp. Why does Magikarp look like it's drowning? Oh, no. It's about to get fished. That's what it is. That thing there. Oops. That's a hook and bait. Magikarp's gonna turn into sushi. Oh, there is an energy card. Oh, well, you know. I did mess up. Oops. You didn't see that. Caterpie. Oh, another energy. It doesn't even matter. And the reversal hit one chan. Maybe it did do it right. Why was energy there, though? I don't know. I don't know anything anymore. What even are these card tricks? Like sometimes I watch YouTube videos and other people do other tricks. I mean it works as well, but 
I just get so confused and I'm like, I'm going to stick with this. Probably because I won't remember all the other things. Like someone moves the middle cards to the front or something like that. And I don't know. I just move the four to the front. And there's your other Cosmic Eclipse card. And also, apparently not that great. Alright, move four to the front. Fire Energy. Oh, Rotom. Erica. Jolteon. Trapinch. Sveal rolling around in the ice. So cute. A Pessimian. I'm pretty sure I pronounced that differently last time. Right. Yep, yeah, let's keep going. Rowlet. Lillipop. Reverse Hollow Thruh. And a Whimsicott. I recently caught myself a um, Swack in Pokemon Go. My first one. It was quite good. I'm pretty happy with it. So, yeah. Alright. On to the little secret thing that I have. That's not actually really secret. So, I don't know if anyone knows, but um, I'm quite a big fan of Ruby. Probably you won't know because I haven't to told anyone about it. But I'm a big fan of Ruby. I found these. They're Series 1 collector cards. There's like 7 in each pack. I bought like 9, I think. 2, 4, 6, yeah, 9. Basically, um, these are from Volume 1. They're like little art type kind of things. So these are from like the 3 I've opened. I already got one double up. Which was quite cool because it's like the first card that I had. Um, so yeah, it's like quite cool little scenes from the shows, like every episode, different things. I've even got like a few special cards, like Yang's card, uh, Blake vs. Roman, and then even Team Ruby. So like, yeah, it's quite cool. I was gonna just open them all and be like, yeah, I got the whole collection. There's only 112 cards in this, so not that much to go wild on. And, um, and then I thought, why not put it on my YouTube channel? Because it's opening stuff, and I open stuff on my YouTube channel, so I saved them for now. And let's see what I've got. A King Taiji 2. Oh yeah, this one's like the double-headed snake that Ren ended up killing. Uh, Team Juniper, I'm pretty sure I have that. Sun's own backup. The poor guy, it's like Naruto. I have to do everything by myself. Glinta, Good Witch, Lyren, Penny, and Blake's art card. That's nice. I'm just gonna keep going. Just burn through all nine of these. Might grab some more some other time. Goliath, Yang, and Ruby. Why is it Yang and Ruby? Not Weiss. Weiss is just hanging in the background. But it's Yang and Ruby sharing the moment. It's cute. Blake and Sun versus the Al. Blech. That Lysian pal Paladin. Oh gosh, I can't speak at all. Ozpin. Nora, Valkyrie, James Ironwood. Team Ruby versus the Nevermore. Oh yeah, this was like their first fight of the greatest. It's great. I love it. I love the show. To anyone who hasn't actually watched it, I recommend you give it a go. The art style is like a little bit not the same as like what you'd expect from an anime or a cartoon or stuff like that. But it's actually quite good. I quite like it. It's got good story. Voice acting is quite funny. There's the Lonely Sun again. Dr. Bathom. That's his first name? I just remember him being Oblek, the guy who's obsessed with coffee and talks a lot. Coco, Adele. Emerald, I think I already have one. Team Ruby, I don't have that one. I uh, don't remember how to pronounce this one. Chevy, probably. I mean, they're not really a big team. Velvet is a cool character. Her semblance is really cool. That's basically it. Blake vs. Roman. Again? I think I got a different one. 
Yeah. So I've got two Blake vs. Romans. One's like that, and one's like this. It's quite cool. They also have like little numbers on the back, like they even say on these ones at least. Like these ones they don't really, they just have like the little Ruby or the logo. These ones they have a little um, you know, where it's from. Oh, they have volumes here as well. I need know. And then the number there. So this one's actually like quite close to the end. Um, I do actually have the last card. So this one, the Team Ruby. This card, 112. That's quite nice. Mm. I wonder if anyone stopped watching after like I finished with the Pokemon cards. Probably. Cinder's faction. Haha. <laughs> ah, oh, this thing. That was great. The bed that kind of defies gravity. And all goes wrong. Sly! Killer guy. Russell Thrush. I don't remember this guy. Another Ironwood. Goliath. Whoa, that's a nice card. That is very nice, actually. Oh, it's like, you see that there? It's been, um, what's the word, embossed? I don't think it's, I don't think that's the word. I don't know, but like, you know what I'm talking about. You can see it, I think, I hope. But it's like, pressed into the card. That's so cool. That is very nice. The bad thing though, doesn't really hide what the last card is, you can kind of just see it like that. Could you define a friend for me? Mm. Yeah, that's the club. I remember that. Another Glinda. Skylark. Roman Torchwick. The Nevermore. Yang and Ruby again. Oh, that is actually a pretty nice art card. Another Yang and Ruby. Sun again. Another one of these. Team Cardinal. Cardinal? Cardinal? Cold? Cordal? The Jackass. Neptune. Another Nevermore. And Beacon. What does that say? Beacon Dance, I guess. The episode where uh, Joan lost a bet. And he ended up going in a dress. Oh no, this one's like wrinkled. Hopefully the cards aren't damaged. And that's all that matters. So I'm gonna try to open it like this, so that I don't see the last card. Keep it kind of a surprise. Then again, I don't even know what anything is. Junior! I never knew he had more than just Junior in his name. Oh, that's cool. Never more cards. That's like the art design, that's really cool. The cafeteria. Let's focus it. Blake. Peter Port. It's a Hashi Daichi. Ruby's art card, which is nice. I'm just missing laces now. And I think I've also been recording for quite some time, but you know. Things happen. Beowulf. One of those Ursa art design cards. John versus Ursa. Yang. Rublet again. Another one of those. Ooh, Weiss card. Oh, these ones are the ones that. Yeah, it's been pressed in as well. Oh, not as heavily as the other ones though. This one's like you can barely see it. But it's still quite nice. I still quite like it. Even the border's pressed. I think it's the same with the other ones. Damn, that's quite a pile. I am trying to collect all of it, so I might just buy some more. They're on sale, so I'm just, I went crazy with it. I mean, I bought nine packs. It was a little bit crazy. Not as crazy as I go with Pokemon cards, though. Yeah, a friend again. Oblick. Velvet. 
Netflix again. Cinder, the creep. Ying and Ruby and Yang versus Nepal. Uh, Neapolitan that. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much my whole stack of cards from nine packs. I'll be organizing this off screen, obviously, so you don't have to watch me um, mess up on numbers as well as the alphabet. But anyway, uh, sometime soon, probably like next month, I'm gonna bring home one of the bigger ones. I'm not gonna say what it is. You probably know what it is. You'll probably know what I'm referring to. But let's just say I don't have room to fit it like on this. This is like the length of my screen. It's not even that big. If I show you with a few Pokemon cards, it's like it's three pretty much. That's all I can fit. Like the box isn't three. It's not three card lengths. Without any of like the boxes I can get are three card lengths, so yeah, that's probably gonna I'll probably like do part of the opening in my living room if there's a nice day. But yeah, so I'll see you guys next time. Oh, I also forgot. So I thought this was gonna be really weird, but since Last month I was going through the advent calendar. I thought it was gonna be awkward if like I just introduced myself halfway through, but uh, I guess you guys can just re refer to me as Wolfie. I mean, I kind of thought it was, you know, in the channel name, so I didn't really say anything, and I didn't want to just be like, "Hey again, it's Wolfie." Like it's it it just seemed weird, and then it just got weirder and weirder because I was like. This is gonna be like the tenth video that I make, and I haven't introduced myself yet. It's gonna be so weird when I do introduce myself. So I'm just gonna put it out there now. And if people um, have watched up to here, then thanks. Otherwise, uh, Wolfie will see will introduce herself in the next one. Hopefully, if I don't forget, which I do tend to forget a lot of things. Uh, yeah. So I'll see you guys next month. Bye.